how to add a domain to your Minecraft server. That's exactly what we're going to be going over in this video. And the first part of that is you're going to need to be able to actually purchase a domain. So in the description down below, we have a link to name.com. This is where I purchase all of my domains and I think we've got over 50 at this point, but nevertheless, when you go to that link in the description, you will get a $5 promotional credit that you can use in order to purchase your domain. It usually will cover half the cost and maybe even the entire cost, depending on the domain you're buying. And full disclosure, we'll also receive $5 for that, but it's at no additional cost to you. Nevertheless, once you're here, sign up for your account, and after you've done that, you'll be able to go to the name.com homepage where we can search for any domain that we want and purchase it. So, for example, if we go ahead and type in a domain here, like Minecraft Server Course com and hit enter it will take us to where we can purchase this now as you can see dot coms are 1099 and if you do get other different you know dot whatevers you can get a different price for example dot io is $34.99, but .info is $2.99, meaning your promotional credit would cover the entire first year of your .info domain. So keep that in mind, different domains, different, they call them TDLs, which is what's after the .dot here. That is going to change the price, but for this, we're going to use the .com. By the way, we're starting a Minecraft server course. That's why I wanted to purchase this domain. It kind of just fit. And if you want to sign up for that, just go to this domain right here, and you'll be able to enter your email if it's not already out, or be able to see it if it is. So nonetheless, once you're here, you can go through kind of all of this. We don't need any Anything. We just want to click continue to cart up here and it will take us to our cart where always for your promo code enter in privacy please because what this is going to do is give you security your who is security meaning all the information about your domain isn't going to be made public for 100% free as you can see completely free there. Now we can go ahead and log in if you've not already which I haven't you probably already have and then complete your purchase. I'll meet you once I've done that. Once your order is complete you'll land on this order summary page. Now there's a few ways you can go to my domains up here on the top right and you'll go to your domains page but you can also just click manage domain down here under the order summary and when you do that it's going to take you to the page where we actually need to do a lot of this stuff. What we need to do from this page is click on manage DNS records here. Now when you click on that, it's going to take you here. And this is where everything we need to do for adding a domain name to our Minecraft server is at. However, I do want to mention this is not for a server that's hosted on your own computer. You need to do this for a public server, a server that is public that anyone can join. So in order to do that, you're probably going to want to use someone like Apex Minecraft Hosting, who just happens to be also the sponsor of this video. The breakdown.xyz slash Apex is the link in the description down below, where you can go check out Apex and get your very own Minecraft server, where it's super easy to add a domain using this method. We're actually going to be using an Apex server ourselves here to add a domain to the server, so go check that out in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Speaking of, we are actually already logged in to Apex, and to get to that, just go here, right? So this is Apex, and once you're here, you want to access your server. So it doesn't matter which one of these we use, so we're just going to go ahead and use this first one here. Now, when you log in, you're going to see everything you need right here on this main page, because all we need from Apex is the IP address and port of our server. This will work with any third-party host, whether that's Apex, whether that's Bisect Hosting, whether that is GG servers. It doesn't matter which one you use, you just need the IP address and the port of your server, and this will work. So, super simple. Once you've got this information, go ahead and make a note of it or whatever you need to do, and come back over here to the DNS records on name.com. Once you're here, we actually want to go ahead and start off by adding in an A record. Now, for your host name here, this can be anything you want, but it's worth noting that whatever this is, people can't join your server with it. So if you were to make it something like play and you want your domain to be play.domain.com, it's not going to work. So I would recommend just making this like ABC. That would work perfectly fine. For the answer here, we want to go ahead and get the IP address of our server from Apex. So to do that, we want to go ahead and copy this and then come over here and paste it. Now, keep in mind, we just want the IP address. We do not want the port. So that means everything that was after the colon here and the colon itself need to be deleted. So all of that needs to be deleted. It should end with a number and there shouldn't be a colon or anything like that in the IP. For the TTL, this can just be left default. Then let's click add record. That's going to add an A record that basically says this is what the domain of our server is. Next, we want to go ahead and change this type over here to SRV. Then for service, we want to enter in underscore Minecraft, right like so. And then for protocol, we want to be TCP. 
simple there. For the weight, we can leave this as the default weight here of 10. For port, we can go ahead and enter in the port of our server, meaning all we want is the digits after the colon. So all the IP and the colon can be deleted. It should look something like that. Your port's most likely different, but that's okay. For target, we wanna actually go in here and change this to what we added in the A record. So in our case, that's going to be abc.minecraftservercourse.com, but it's gonna be whatever host shows as your A record and enter that in there. For the TTL, that can be left default, and for priority, let's change it to zero. Now go ahead and click add, and boom, just like that, we are good. Now, by default, this is going to do this for your main domain. So this is going to be minecraftservercourse.com goes to your server, right? That's how you log into your server. If you want to add a subdomain, you're going to need to edit this SRV record, and we're going to do that in a second. But first, let's just go ahead and make sure that minecraftservercourse.com works as an IP. So let's go ahead, open up Minecraft. I will see you in game to showcase this working. So here we are in Minecraft. We can go to multiplayer, we can proceed, and then we can add a server. Now you can name this whatever you want as far as the server name goes. We're just going to do Minecraft server course because why not? And then for the address, right, the server address, we're going to do minecraftservercourse.com because that's the domain we bought. Click done and boom, there it is. It works just like that. That means the IP is working. We can double click on it and log right on in to our server. Now, one thing worth noting here is if we disconnect, we can direct connection this. The reason I think that's so important important is that will show you that this is working and I didn't do any trickery right there. So minecraftservercourse.com and join. Now you may have to wait a little while for this to work. Where we just bought this domain and it wasn't propagated to the internet, this works right out of the gate. But for some people, you may have to wait up to four hours for this to actually work with your domain. So if it's not working out of the gate, that's probably why. But what if you don't want the main domain to work for your, you know, Minecraft server. What if you want it to be a subdomain? Well, in that case, we need to come back to name.com. And then for this SRV record, we want to go ahead and hit edit here. Then right here at the beginning, instead of Minecraft underscore dot TCP, right this, we want to leave that exactly the same. And then we want to add in whatever our dot subdomain is. So this could be dot play. This could be dot join. This could be dot MC. I'm actually going to make it play. So it will be play.minecraftservercourse.com will be what the domain is. Then go ahead and click update or add if you're adding a new record with this subdomain in it. Now at this point, it might actually take a minute for this to propagate out for me. So if we go back into Minecraft here, we'll be able to see that if we type in play.minecraftservercourse.com and click join, it may not work, but it does. It actually worked right away, which is awesome. That may take a while. When you do an update of a record, sometimes that can break things, right? Sometimes that can not break things, but take a while, right? So that means it's going to take up to four hours to propagate out to the internet. Nevertheless, though, if we come back here, we can refresh, and this is currently working. This won't work in the future. It will eventually stop working because we removed it back on name.com from being the direct domain. But if we go in here and edit this and change it to play.minecraftservercourse.com, click done, refresh it a few times just to prove it's working, and then join the server. So that's how you can add a domain to your Minecraft server. Whether you want it to be the direct domain itself or whether you want to use a subdomain, it works the same way either way. You just have to add in the subdomain at the beginning if you want to use it. Nevertheless, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. My name is Nick and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.